Hello, true duelists. My name's Craig Fay, and as always, welcome to the New Card Report. Have you had enough of reveals from Rage of the Abyss? Tired of the endless Maxi discussion? If so, I have terrible news for you. That discussion will literally never die as long as Yu-Gi-Oh is a thing. Ever. But you won't be hearing any more about it from me today, because instead we're going to be looking at the first archetype from the deck build pack crossover breakers. And let me tell you, they are desperate for you to want to be playing some old school throwback Yu-Gi-Oh, because what the fuck is the lock that associates this entire deck? Sword Rizal is your first monster, a level 4 Fire Thunder with 1500 attack and 200 defense. If you've got a Rizal monster on your field or in your graveyard, you can special summon this from your hand, but doing so will lock you into only summoning rank 4 Xyz monsters specifically from your extra deck for the rest of the turn. Okay, 2015, sure. But it's okay because on normal or special summon, it'll add any light pyro monster from your deck to your hand. Because a simple Stratos for your archetype makes too much sense. Like the robots, like the deck, that's the assumption. If you like the robots, you probably uh, like the look of this thing at the least, right? That's a positive. And if you hate thinking, you're going to love it even more. Because you don't even get to Zeus in this Xyz deck. Uh, because because you just can't, it's rank four only. Granted, the rank four pool is fairly versatile, but it's not 2015 anymore, and I'm not sure that it's still enough. And that lock that if you use this summon effect, you can't summon anything but rank fours, is on like the entire rest of the deck. So moving forward, I will refer to the rank four lock rank four lock, us fuck Zeus. When you hear me they say that, that basically just means using this means you can't summon anything but rank fours because that is the clear takeaway from the game because Zeus exists and this is an Xyz deck that doesn't let you use Xyz deck's best tool. So do with that what you will. Node Rizal is a level 4 Fire Thunder that is not searchable by the previously shown Stratos, and so you have to hope they get another one. Hint, hint, wink, wink. This has 1400 attack and 1600 defense, which is some like Ice Hand ass stat line. And this one can special summon itself from your hand if there is an Xyz monster on your field or in the graveyard, but fuck Zeus if you do so. On the field, you can also send a card from your hand or field to the graveyard to special summon any Rizal except for another copy of this from your graveyard, but it'll have its effects negated. So Zapdos, if it was a Digimon going off this card's design, as a fun fact for you, targeting effect it targets the card that it's going to summon. This is a quality that makes it worse than something like Lumina from Light Swarms, a card released 16 years before this. But hey, it sets up a rank four, so. What more do you need? Uh, and, and that's because that's all it can fucking do, because that's in this entire deck's... Fuck Zeus, that's the entire deck. Ice Rizal is a level 4 Light Pyro with 1700 attack and 1000 defense that is at least searchable, so it's got that going for it. This one can be special summoned from your hand by sending a card from your hand or field to the graveyard, but doing so will, of course, fuck Zeus. So be wary of that, and there's definitely a Greek joke in here somewhere, but whatever. On normal or special summon, this can summon any Rizal monster from the deck that isn't another copy of itself, which makes sense. I'm glad it at least didn't say summon a Fire Thunder from the deck, but whatever. Uh, if you normal summon this, you won't be locked into only rank 4s, which is cool, so you can make at least one Link monster with this deck, and that's a solid trait to have, so it looks that, that that's good. It looks like that's good, and it looks good, actually. I like the look of this one. Uh, I'm just confused as to what part of this is ice, because it's Pyro and the blue shit looks like fire. It's just blue and fire, Pyro. which if you've played Zelda, melts red ice. So truthfully, I'm just very confused by all this. Either as tour guide, it's solid. x Rizal is, uh, despite its name, not actually an x Rizal, and is in fact a current Rizal card. This level four light Pyro is like all the other ones because it can special summon itself from the hand, but doing so says fuck Zeus. Doing so for this one requires you to send an Xyz from your extra deck to the grave, which is a little less than ideal, I guess, but it at least summons itself, so whatever. Fuck Zeus. On normal or special summon, if you only have level or rank fours on your field, you can also add a fire thunder monster from your deck to your hand. So there are two Stratoses, they're just really weird. Uh, it's solid, 
it actively discourages link summoning because like I said, even though you could get a link using ice normal summon, make a link and then use this, uh, you can't get your search off with this if you have that link. So cool, whatever. I got really lasering in on the rank four shenanigans. Castell is simply that good, I guess. And they even have another main deck monster and you won't believe it, it's an extender. Palma Rizol is a level four fire thunder and this one can't be normal summoned or set. Instead, it needs to be summoned by shuffling a Rizol monster from your hand or graveyard back into the deck. While it's on your field, it just places the fuck Zeus lock on it. So it's there until you remove it by other means, but realistically the whole deck does it, so it doesn't fucking matter. And once per turn during damage calculation, if this card battles, it can send any level four monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard to have this card gain attack equal to the sent monster's attack until the end of the battle phase. Now, this deck didn't really need a fifth extender at this point, but it can recycle the Xyz sent to summon X, so that, that's cool. Uh, and if you're a 2015 duelist, which you probably are if you like this deck, uh, you can maybe send Damage Juggler or Trick Clown, or if you're really desperate for 2015, you can send Thousand Blades. <laughs> Remember Clown Blade? God, I hope not, but uh, that's... The, the, it's it's here. It's 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 here. That's really all that can be fucking said about this. It's an extender and it supports your rank four shenanigans. So I guess let's take a look at what it is the new rank fours all of these monsters are going to be summoning. Rizal Duo Drive is a rank four fire thunder with 2,500 attack at 2,000 defense that'll need any two or more level four monsters to summon. If it's special summoned, you can attach any Rizal monster from your grave to this as a material, and during your main phase you can detach two materials from your Xyz monsters, not just this, and if you do you can add two Rizal cards from your deck to your hand. Both of these effects are hard once per turn, but the third effect is instead a continuous one. That makes it so all your monsters gain 100 attack for each of its materials and all the opponents lose 100 attack for each of its materials. And I guess ideally you just summon it using two, and then if you want, put a material on it for three, and then just detach two of it and get a hundred attack <laughs> different. Like it's a, cool. Uh, yeah, it's it's not super relevant, but it, it searches. Obviously, it's solid enough in terms of you know shit out two Rizal, uh, detach two, and get two more to keep going. Uh, but that searching all your extenders, I guess. It's just another body on the field. Make all the little robos to search all your little robos and then I guess end on Abyss Dweller or some shit. Probably isn't enough against Snake-Eyed Fiendsmith, but hey, those you, maybe you just won't duel that deck. Maybe you just won't duel the best deck currently. It's, it's, it's possible. <laughs> Rizal Dead Nader, which, great name, uh, is the other rank four for them. A light pyro with 3,000 attack and 2,500 defense. It'll need any two or more Rizal monsters to special summon. And like Duo Drive before it, on special summon, it can attach a monster from your grave to it as a material. It can also detach a material instead of an Xyz monster being destroyed, a bit of a light Dingirsu, but both of those effects are hard once per turn. Unlike the other one, the other effect it has is not a hard once per turn, and that is to detach a material each time your opponent activates a card or effect, and then you can destroy a card on the field. It's optional and it's a quick effect, so that's, I guess, the answer of what this deck does. Just shits out robots to make this thing, and then targeted pop. Impressive. I'm not going to call it bad, but I am going to wonder if it's all just underwhelming Zodiac at the end of the day. If this deck has Kaiju Bait, I guess this is the Kaiju Bait of choice, because what else are they doing? Uh, this in Dweller is hopefully enough because that's about all they've got going for them, question mark. There are still the Spell and Trap though, so I guess we can look at those, but uh, I, I'm not gonna lie. I assume the, the it's just a Monster Reborn. That, that's what I put another extension. And hey, look at that script writing, Craig is correct. Rise Your Plugin is a quick play spell with a hard once per turn that'll target an Xyz monster or a Rise Your monster in your grave or banishment, special summon it, and then you can attach a Rise Your card from your deck to a rank four as a material. But using this means only rank four monsters will be able to attack. So you can't even let me poke with my endless swarming little robos. 
would just make the deck too good, I guess. Uh, it is a quick play, Reborn, so that's solid enough. And because you can be a comedian, you can attach a spell or trap Rizal card as a material, which is notable for, say, Time Thief Redoer. Because this is, again, a rank four deck, you're probably going to at least be trying Redoer at some point in your playtesting. Uh, and there is a single trap, so cool enough. Pred predictable reborn, good. Let's see what the fucking trap does. Rizul Hole Thruster. This is a normal trap that on activation targets face-up cards the opponent controls up to the number of Rizul exceeds monsters you control and destroys them. And then you can attach one Rizul card from your grave to any rank four monster you control as a material. So again, maybe give Redoer that Reborn spell. <laughs> cool. And it can also be banished from the grave to immediately exceed summon using monsters you control, including a Rise Your Monster. Behold, another reason to make both rank fours. It's kind of all you can do anyways, besides generic stuff like <laughs> Rafflesia, but hey, it's, it's another reason. It pops stuff and it lets you exceed on the opponent's turn. You could even make another rank four. <laughs> Or I guess, hypothetically, if you're in main two of the opponent's turn and they attacked an Xyz monster and there's still an Xyz monster on your board, you could make Zeus at that point, as far as I understand, so that's that's cool. There's at least one way to make Zeus in this deck if you've used your monster's effects in the turn. So, that, that's something, I guess? Is anyone else bored? <laughs> For real, the main way I've had this deck described, or heard it described by people, is boring. And honestly, I get it. All of the monsters search or summon another body for the most part. They all lock you into the most specific extra deck lock I've ever seen in a deck that isn't an archetypal one. And the end result is just popping cards and whatever it is we were doing in 2015. It's not unplayable, but it seems weak as hell compared to the current meta and kind of, kind of just a lot of decks in general. There's no real variance in your plays. There's no, well, maybe I link off for disruption or find a way to commit to engine or there's none of that. It's just spitting out fours and making rank fours. Again, 2015 players losing their minds. None of the monsters give you a bonus effect either if you use the material or something like that. You can't even make a discount tower strategy with your one little popping machine with dread, dead, deadnator. <laughs> Keep trying to say Vader and Dreadnought. Either way, half the strength is going to come from cards that have been played for years at this point, and things like Redoer, Dweller, or Tornado Dragon haven't felt super duper strong for a while, except, you know, Dweller, but D Dweller's kind of a rank four of its own. Uh, granted, I've seen some comments, like you can tech in, what is it, Myriologic Aggregator to send off of X, which can double as a negate and a bit of extension, and then since you can attach that card to Deadnator, you can then get an extra negate on top of a pop on the opponent's turn, which is cute, it's better, but like that that's it. That's the one cute play that the deck has, <laughs> you know, which is not a whole lot. If you like the art and you want a very simple brain dead style of unga bunga play, uh, it's not a bad deck, it's not impossible to win with, uh, it's just, it's not, it is not the thinking man's deck. Granted, as with all deck build packs, it'll get more support in the future sets. So maybe it gets another good rank four to go with Dead Nader, and then you can get pops and some other kind of meaningful disruption or play style or something. So like it's it's solid, there's decent potential, if that potential comes at the cost of being incredibly uninspired. Also, I just have to bring up the point uh, that that trap card that it has is a whole trap card, right? Like like Rizal Hole Thruster, which which means it's it doesn't work against Trap Trick cards, like Trap Trick cards are immune to that for whatever reason. Uh, that's not even remotely important, but if I'm right, that's really funny. So uh, there you go, that's it. Mid-ass robo deck for people whose win con is putting the opponent to sleep. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be cheap for those of you interested, or we can remember that this is a deck build pack and somehow some of these are gonna end up being $30 ultras for no reason beyond dog shit printing strategies. Yu-Gi-Oh, baby, you gotta love it. So thanks as always go to the LIFD magnetic display for the support. That's right, the sponsor of today's video, the LIFD magnetic display. Promo code YGOSTRANS15 for 15% off, whether you type it in the description 
Nope, type it in the discount section or click the link in the description. <laughs> what is speaking? Either way, it's a great way to help me out and a great way to show off your cards like the three random rank fours you pulled from your hat deck because what else is this other than a decade late hat deck? Hmm? You tell me. Either way, thanks to LIT for the support and thank you for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe and like and all that jazz. Not only will you immediately become a true duelist, but you'll be impressing your smoking Italian wife and my God. What more could you want to do with your life?